Yeah, so I'm Dr. Benjamin Longmire, uh, running Project Ether, educational outreach project for graduate students, undergraduate students, and uh, high school students, working with uh, GoPro team to do some really phenomenal science. Uh, yeah, so Project Ether is an educational program for students to get, get really hands-on with hardware, and so we want students to interact with the hardware, to be critically uh, involved in the design process, the engineering design process, uh, to launch hardware uh, to the edge of space and to get it back and to iterate those designs and, and sort of perfect and, and uh, do new techniques, do real science measurements and do very high quality engineering in the, in the process. We did a chaos uh, turbulence study today. We launched two balloons at the same time from the Ruth Glacier in Denali National Park, just about two miles from the actual peak, Denali Peak, Mount McKinley. Um, that went off to a phenomenal success. Our team, you know, had some engineering problems, engineering challenges, uh, fighting the cold every bit of the way, losing, the <laughs> feeling in our toes and fingers, but um, those went out, went up without a problem. So we were really beautiful. The uh, a lot of the other work that we're doing, we're doing up in Fairbanks, Alaska, a bit higher of a latitude, and we're looking at the uh, aurora from altitude. So we're doing imaging from the ground, imaging from the balloon altitude of 30 kilometers, and then we're going to work with a NASA astronaut uh, doing imaging from the space station at about 400 kilometer altitude. Uh, we've also has, have some uh, plasma sensors to fly, very sensitive uh, double Langmuir probe that will measure the different plasma properties of the aurora uh, at, at a bit lower uh, altitude, but, but really from a very unique vantage point with our high altitude balloons. You know, it's nice to be able to interact with students at a very uh, uh, hands-on sort of critical level. And I've learned that it's, it's, uh, it's really not that difficult to motivate students if you put them in the right setting, give them the right opportunity, and they just, you know, they flourish in this sort of environment. And uh, we, we've had some undergraduate aerospace engineer uh, designs and, and launches, and, uh, you know, these kids are staying up all night, students are staying up all night, and, and they're just phenomenally excited about all of the stuff we're doing. So, you know, lear learning that, that that sort of process doesn't have to be a difficult one. It can be uh, pretty easy, given the right setting and given, given the right plan to, to implement. So, so in these sort of extreme conditions, it, GoPro is really sort of pushing the boundary of the technology envelope, and it allows us to do all of these uh, really nice science objectives and technology objectives. Uh, we had tried a lot of different cameras. Um, some of them, you know, did okay. Some of them uh, failed miserably up at altitude. You've got really extreme pressure. You've got really extreme temperature. Uh, you need the thing to last for a long time. It's got to be all solid state. And so GoPro really has the right sort of um, combination of technology, the waterproof housing, the all solid state chip, uh, the super high resolution 1080p image sensor that, that really you know, pops with all of the uh, images and videos. And so it's really allowed us to do uh, a lot of this study. We're, we're imaging the aurora from, you know, right at the edge of the aurora from the edge of space. And, you know, that, that's just really tricky to do with any sort of camera. Um, and, and, you know, we're, we're going to do this with the Hero 2, with GoPro. And, uh... Okay. I am Liz Enriquez. I'm a high school physics teacher from New Jersey, and I am the lead educator for Project Ether and have been for about the last six months or so. We're trying to work up a program that we can take out to schools across the country so that students can be doing these um, experiments right off the shelf in their own classrooms and getting their hands on science and getting psyched about it. Um, but what we're trying to do is make a bunch of really canned experiments so that we can put the, uh, the rigs into the hands of the teachers, make it really easy to use, and give them experiments that, that are already prepared for their kids to do. So, you know, we've got all of the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics lessons planned out for probably middle school through high school so far. Project Ether is a group that's designed to go into classrooms and inspire kids to become, you know, explorers and dreamers and be able to really work with science in real life and not just hypothetically do it in their classrooms. I use the cameras in my classroom all the time now. I'll hook them up when we're doing physics experiments especially. We do a lot of crashes and um, you know marble launches and I'll set the camera up and we'll actually watch it go up and down and rather than have to calculate velocity with our eyes we can actually do the slow-mo on the camera and calculate it a lot more accurately. So and the kids are really jazzed about using the cameras because it's really hot technology for them. I'm Hans. And I'm Franz. 
And we're here to pump you up. Yes, we are. We pump things up. All the time. All day. We are here to, to assist with Project Aether. We are from Texas A&M University. And we are graduate students. In what department? Aerospace engineering. Oh, yes, that's right. Really? You forgot? <laughs> Just kidding. But yes, we are. Continue. Okay, so basically, <laughs> we're grad students with Aerospace Engineering at Texas A&M. We're uh, funded with them to help here with the project that we're doing as part of the Project Aether. Uh, kind of in conjunction with them and with GoPro and everybody. And GoPro's been really good to us, giving us cameras to fly on our experiments to get some really awesome video of the Aurora, hopefully. And we're actually using GoPro cameras in some of ex our experiments. And through A&M and Project Aether, we have nine undergrads, two grad students, and we're all learning how to work in the field, doing experiments, learning on the fly, putting things together from scratch. So it's really cool. Teamwork, working as a team, yeah. getting things done efficiently. Um, so. Well, the most important part of what we're doing is taking photos up at the curvature of the Earth. And we tried a couple different cameras, a couple different camera companies, and found that GoPro was really the best for what we're doing. Beautiful, clear images, really small cameras, and with what we're doing, cameras have to be small and light and pretty indestructible. Dude, we're in the middle in, of the Arctic tundra outside of Fairbanks, Alaska. We're actually in North Pole, Alaska, and we brought together rocket scientists teachers, educators, adventurers, explorers from all around the country to come experience what GoPro is all about. Capturing life's most exciting moments, doing some crazy stuff we've never done before, and uh, it's been rad. Our CEO and founder, Nick, is a surfer and a race car driver, and uh, this company and this brand took off in the world of action sports, but what we started finding when we started listening and watching people take our camera and play with it is that they love it for so many different things, and it's an amazing thing to see what happens when you put a tiny professional quality camera in the hands of somebody and say go do what you love. And the best part about this whole expedition for us in Alaska is that GoPro has been involved every step of the way from the early stages of designing the whole expedition um, by floating cameras, um, our PR team and Rick floating cameras to, to Ben and his team to to start testing stuff out all the way to our media production guys literally living here with the scientists and adventurers here in Alaska for two weeks starting from Houston, Texas down to NASA flying up all the way to Alaska. We had Jordan, Abe and the whole crew out here um, following the team around, high-fiving them, learning how they live and roughing it a little bit for a couple weeks and just trying to capture things that never been been caught before. Straight down our right side is the Talkeetna River. Ahead of us to the right, the Sioux Sitna River, both of which are fed by the glaciers of the Talkeetna Mountains, which are the mountains to our right side. Underneath us is the Chulitna River, and it's fed by the glaciers of the Alaska Mountain Range. As you can see, all three of the rivers join together right there at Talkeetna. From there, they continue down to Cook Inlet and pass the Sioux Sitna. Yeah, well, we're here uh, right near Denali National Park, and we're just about to go up to Ruth Glacier, uh, land on the glacier, and uh, deploy our weather balloon kit, and we'll, we'll get everything ready. We've got uh, spot satellite GPS running right now. We'll turn on another GPS unit, 
and we'll go for uh, the, a really pretty unique launch. Nobody's really ever done a, a balloon launch from a glacier before. So going to the edge of space, uh, starting out from glacier and starting out from Denali. I think it's going to be you know this fantastic scene. It's a crystal clear day, so we couldn't you know ask for better weather. Uh, we're going to be in this ten seater plane here, uh, ski plane for landing on the glacier, which we're really excited about. I'll be uh, flying on the the right seat, pilot in the left seat, and. Uh, you know, I'm a private pilot as well, so I'm really excited to, you know, get a little bit of time on this guy here. <laughs> this is going to be really fun. And we're going to get some uh, really amazing shots from, you know, right near Denali. And that's going to be just spectacular. I, nobody's really done this before. Have you done this before or something? Have you turned that radio on? America. All right. <laughs> we can go. Got it. Got it. Oh, it's good. Okay. See you on the other side. It's so smooth. See you on the other side of the alley. Yeah. Ready? You guys want to do a countdown? Blue three. That's actually a really good buoyancy. Just a little bit of lift. Hey, that one's gonna fly nice. It's gonna fly really far. Hey, it's a light payload too. Light payload, big balloon, just a little bit of buoyancy. Right on time with the FAA. Five to six. We've got the coolest assortment of bloggers ever in media relations press history. We've got space bloggers, we've got astronomy bloggers, we've got mommy bloggers, <laughs> we've got Mocha Mama uh, in town, um, we've got people from Vermont all the way to California, and they're doing they're doing amazing out here. You know, no, this is everybody's first time in Alaska like me. I'm from Texas, so this is a huge change, and everybody's having a blast learning a lot and really getting to know that GoPro is a lot more than just a piece of technology equipment. It's about a lifestyle, it's about uh, storytelling and they're all coming back with great stories to go share with their friends and family and followers so it's going to be really cool to see. Last night we had about 40 people standing under the Arctic sky. It was about 20 degrees um, outside of Fairbanks, Alaska, and we watched the aurora come out and dance, and it was amazing. It was crazy because actually we set up the we set up the launch of the balloons to, with our GoPros to, to shoot them off into space, and as soon as we we let go of that thing, literally the aurora welcomed it with open arms and, and said, "Come, come to me, baby." You really wants to fly. You guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Let's do a five second countdown. Five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Lift off. See you later. What kind of information is it going to pick up for us, right? We'll let you know tomorrow. <laughs> Three. 